Om Shanti, welcome back and today we do the recording of 13th of August, God be blessing. Where Supreme Father wants us to become a master bestower and fill everyone with infinite treasures by being generous hearted. Let's understand what does it exactly mean to say. Godfather says, may you be a master bestower and fill everyone with infinite treasures by being generous hearted. So you are master bestowers. Now we become master bestowers when we have taken care of our own emotional, mental health first. If you've got any physical issues, obviously you have to take care of your physical issues and then take care of your mental and emotional health too and only then can you give stability to anybody in their life. So God says, you are master bestowers, children of the bestower. So God is the master bestowers father. That means God is our father and we are the master bestowers. Taking something from someone to give to another is not really giving. You take from somebody, you give to somebody else. It's not you who has done it, right? If you take something and then give something, that is a business. And we have all become businessmen in this Kaliuga, haven't we not? So God wants us to not do this business and become somebody who gives without having anything in return or without taking from somebody and giving to somebody else. Now, taking from God and giving it to somebody else is different. We are not talking about the physical aspects of have, not the money, not the wealth. We are talking about giving something from the treasure of God, that is love, peace, happiness, bliss, something which we cannot physically touch. So God then says, the treasures are infinite. You are children of the bestower, and so continue to give with a generous heart. The treasures are infinite. So give everyone whatever they want and continue to make them full. Someone may want happiness. Now this is not physical happiness. You can make somebody happy by talking about the goodness in them. So there's a difference between talking about somebody's goodness and there's a difference between giving something as a gift to somebody and making that person happy just for a second. Think about it. Somebody's got a good nature. Somebody's got a generous nature. Somebody is kind-hearted. Somebody is very loyal. And you talk and you praise about that person's loyal heartedness, royal heartedness, benevolent nature, kindness, generosity, and discipline, and many other things which that person has got. And you can make that person happy because you're giving them the right kind of energy. And you're telling them who they really are instead of giving them what they really maybe not needed. They might use it for a moment and then forget about it. So they'll never forget something which you've spoken of from your mouth. The words, they can hit a person's heart with an arrow. Or they can actually make somebody happier. And your gifts might be lying there in the house. And how many times will they remember it? So God says, give something which is infinite from God's treasure. Not the finite treasure of the world. So God says the treasures are infinite. So give everyone whatever they want and continue to make them full someone may want happiness someone may want love and someone may want peace so just continue to give this is an open account not a karmic account karmic accounts are limited you meet somebody you meet that person for a limited period of time you have a given take of finances maybe love maybe wealth or something and that person is gone from your life forever happens right so god says at this time everything is open in the court of the bestower but when you take it from the father it is unlimited he is not going to have a karmic account with you because he is not giving by taking it from somebody else he is not taking from the world and giving it to you he is not taking the material things from this world and giving it to you he is giving you love and infinite love and happiness and peace which doesn't have any physical form it's unlimited so god says therefore however much someone wants just give him or her that much. Do not be miserly in this. Don't be like, I don't have time for you. I don't have enough precious moments for you. The person wants your attention, your love, your kindness, your gestures. Be with that person. Sacrifice. It doesn't feel like a sacrifice because you're taking it from somebody infinite and giving it to somebody else. See, when we don't bring upon the time in between, the interaction between two infinite souls, there's no time which exists. You see, people say, when you're in love, you forget about time, right? So, love giving, and you forget about time. That's what God wants us to 
we reach up to that level where god doesn't count time god doesn't count the much he is giving he wants us to become the same so can you by coming and learning the sinfulite knowledge of brahma kumaris with the swam shanti